Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Hello, good evening, and welcome to the people that are just connected. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Okay, guys, before we start, let me ask you, um, do you use a notebook while you're in class or something like that? Question in general. Okay, what about the other ones? Do you have a notebook? Because if you don't have a notebook, please get one right now and a pencil or a pen. Because we're going, we are about to have an activity that will require notebook or a piece of paper plus a what a pen or a pencil if you don't have it. Okay, teacher. All right. Okay, teacher. So for people that just connected, let me tell you that we are going to need a notebook in our pen or a pencil for today's class. Okay, so if you, if you do not have one with you, please go ahead and get it and look for a pen and a pencil because you're going to need it. Am I clear? Uh, yes, yes. Okay, so everyone understood what I said. Guys, did everyone understand what I said? Got it, teacher. Okay, very good. So, um, well, we are 15 already. So if you have, what, what are we going to do? Let me explain you first. I will, I will check first of all about what we saw yesterday. Do you remember what we saw yesterday? In the class, what was yesterday's class, guys? Daily routine. 
daily routines. Okay, so we saw yesterday pretty much was vocabulary and things like that and some exercises. And obviously the final practice that we had, that we had um, the, the conversations and I think the two, yeah, two more exercises regarding to the daily routines. So today, what I'm going to do, first of all, I'm going to check if you paid attention to yesterday's class. And we're also going to have a practice about the time expressions, because I still see that some of you are having some issues about that. I also want to say, guys, thank you so much for working on the platform. I have been checking some of you and I see that the majority of you are working on the platform. Some of you are about to finish the platform. Some of you probably already finished it, but I see that you all are working on that. So thank you very much for that. Remember that the platform is like a requirement for you to get the 80% at the end of the module. So you're able to go to the next level. So is everyone ready for today's practice? Yes, yes. teacher. I'm yes, ready. ready. Okay, I can still see people that are connecting. So, um, well, let me tell you to people that just connected that you will need, once again, a notebook, a pen or a pencil for today's class because we are going to have a practice. So let me explain you right now what we are going to do. So in this practice, guys, uh, well, first of all, I will check about yesterday's vocabulary that it was daily routines. Um, if you're ready, we're going to start with that. How are you going to do it? I will say the word or the part of vocabulary in Spanish and you will have to write down in English. We are going to make a list of 15, no, 10 daily routines, okay? So I will say it in Spanish. You will have to write it in English. And then after we finish the practice, you will have to send right at the moment a picture to the WhatsApp group so I can check that later on. Are we clear? Yes, teacher. Teacher, please repeat me, please. Okay, so um, I will tell you a word or something in Spanish regarding to yesterday's class. Your job is going to be to tell, to write that in English, obviously. Everything is going to be about daily routines and some of them are going to be about time expressions. So right after we complete the practice, you will have to send a picture through the WhatsApp group so I can check it later. Yes? Yes, yes, teacher. Okay, everyone understood? Yes. Okay, I need you to please um, send Jess through the chat, so así tengo evidencia que todos entendieron. Because after the, or after the practice, I don't want anyone to tell me, uh, well, uh, unless only Veronica that says, Veronica de Martinez that says that she's working, but she's here paying attention. She's going to be the only one that will not be taken into this evaluation. The other ones, I need you to please type yes on the chat so I can have your word. So después no quiero que me vayan a estar diciendo, teacher, I didn't understand and I didn't know how to do it because I already explained you. Okay, so if you do not understand what I said, tell me so I can explain you right now so you don't have problems later. So I can see Lisette, I can see Claudia Eta, Tatiana, Andrea, Jacqueline, Adriana, Stephanie, Jenny Sanchez, Rodrigo, Estela, okay. Very good, what about the other ones? 
Okay, Cecilia, I see that you have a question. What's your question? Teacher, uh, yo acabo de entrar porque tenía problemas de conexión. Eh? Podría decirme qué estaba explicando, por favor. Yes, so we are going to have a practice and you will have to use a notebook. You will have to use a pen or a pencil because the practice that we are going to do is going to be about daily routines and also time expressions. How are we going to do that? I'm going to tell you part of the vocabulary that we saw yesterday in Spanish and your job is going to be to write that, obviously, in English. Right after we finish the practice, you will have to send a picture through the WhatsApp group so I can check that later on. And that's going to be kind of evaluation for me to see how well are you doing, okay? Okay, teacher, I understand. Okay, very good. So, Hilda, you said that you did not understand. Did you understood? Well, understood now that I explained to Cecilia? Uh, no. What, teacher? What did you say? No, no, no. I'm just asking to, to Hilda. Okay. 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 Very good. So, we're going to start, guys. I can, let me see. Let me, let me check once again. I still do not see, let me see Luis Enrique, I do not see your Jess. Uh, Rubia Franco, I still do not see if you understood or not. Claudia Eta, Lisette, Stella, Tatiana, Jacqueline, Adriana, Stephanie, Jenny Sanchez, Rodrigo, Norma Marbelli, Hilda, Alba, and Claudia Lisette. Okay, so we're going to start with the practice, guys. Okay, got it. Thank you so much, Luis. I see that you said understood. What about you, Rubia Franco? Did you understand what I said? Perdón, teacher, no le entendí. Es que no le entendí. No le logro captar qué es lo que dice. Okay, so we're going to have an evaluation right now. We're going to have an evaluation. Vamos a tener una evaluación ahorita about things that we saw yesterday. Yesterday in the class before. See? So you will have to have notebook or piece of paper, eh, cuaderno, alguna página de papel, lapicero, because we are going to have a practice. See? Vamos a tener una práctica right now. So, cuando termine la práctica, automáticamente en ese momento, todos toman captura, fotografía de lo que han hecho y la envían al grupo en ese preciso momento. No después de la clase, no unos minutos después, en ese momento, ¿ok? So, I can see that you, that's your real job, ¿ok? Are we clear? Okay. ¿Todos claros? I'm clear. Yeah. All right, so let's start now, guys. So first of all, um, well, another instruction from the being la fotografía, please guys, write your name down. Escribir su nombre so I can know that that's you. All right, so um, we're going to start first of all with the vocabulary about daily routines. Remember, I will tell you that in Spanish, so you will have to write that down in English. So we're going to start with, the first one is going to be really easy. Sacar la basura. We will have 30 seconds to do that. Sacar la basura. Number two, hacer la cena. Number two, hacer la cena, okay. Number three, alimentar el perro. Alimentar el perro. Okay, 
Ok. Number four. Limpiar las ventanas. Number four. Limpiar las ventanas. Number five. Planchar la ropa. Planchar la ropa. Number six. Colgar la ropa. Colgar la ropa. Number seven, cepillarse los dientes. Aquellos que tienen su cámara apagada, espero que no estén copiando, ¿verdad? Be honest, honestidad ante todo. All right. Repeat, number, please. Did I say number seven? Uh, Cepillarse los dientes. Number eight. Vestirse. Vestirse. Number nine. Lavar el carro. Lavar el carro. En number ten. Esa es trampa. <laughs> regar las plantas. Regar las plantas. All right, so now we finished with the daily routines. Let's move on to the time expressions. Okay, now part number two is going to be about time expressions. I will tell you the time and you will have to use the form number two. Do you remember that when we saw time expressions, we have two ways that we have uh, number one and number two. Do you remember that? Yes, yes, teacher. All right, so we are going to use the form number two. So let's start with that. Ocho, ocho y quince. Ocho y quince. Teacher, ¿me podría repetir las primeras tres, por favor? No las escuché bien. Uh, I'm... Well, I got, I got lost. Let me see. Who, who was, is that you, Claudia Lisette? What? What, what did you say? Uh, las primeras tres oraciones no las, no las logré copiar. No las logré escuchar. Es que estaba teniendo interferencia. Okay. Let me see. I really don't remember that. Let me see. Okay, yes, I got it here. So, just, let me see. Oh yeah, thank you very much. Uh, Claudia Raeta, it was the first one. She's saying sacar la basura. It was number one, number two. Hacer la cena. Number three, alimentar al perro. Teacher, disculpe, fíjese que ayer no logré captar, capturar todas las imágenes, pero no me apareció la clase, no vi la clase en el grupo. ¿Será que pueda compartirla? Solo quiero deciros. O no sé si... I, I didn't understand why. 
I didn't understand what you said. Uh, probably the connection is kind of unstable right now. Can you repeat what you said, Maria Luz, please? Sobre la, el slide, las diapositivas de ayer, de, mm -hmm. de la clase del día de ayer. Uh -huh. Ajá, what, what happened with that? Okay. What happened with that? Si la va a compartir o, o no. Yes, I will grupo. do it. I will do it after the class. I'm sorry. I, yesterday I forgot to send it. Um, that's why I'm just kind of checking today if you were, were able to just get something or if you were paying attention, actually. So um, I, I will try to share it after today's class, okay? Both of them, yesterday one and today's one, okay? So let's continue, guys, with the practice. I said... Ocho y quince, okay? That's number one. Number two, siete cuarenta y cinco. Siete cuarenta y cinco. Siete cuarenta y cinco. Siete. Number three, dos treinta y cinco. Teacher, dos. repeat again, please. Uh, desde el comienzo. Okay, Cecilia, pay attention. Number one. Uh -huh. Number one, ocho quince. Number two, what's number two? que estoy teniendo problemas con el internet y se escucha entrecortado también no, no sé si sí, yo también sí, escucho yo cortado también, también lo escucho cortado también así me así lo escucho todos lo oímos cortado yo también la mitad oh, de lo que dice uh -huh. oh, probably my internet is not working today doesn't want to work but I do have the full signal I really don't know what's going on Mm. Yeah, it's kind of weird. I really don't know. So, uh, well, due to that, guys, we're going to try to finish that. We just had three, actually. Well, I don't know what's. No, going teacher, on. se le escucha cortado. Yeah. I mean, I can listen to some of you. Yo también escucho cortado, no sé si quiere hacer el examen. Es Dios que les está ayudando, ¿verdad? No quiere que hagan el examen today. So you just let me double check right here what's going on. Well, I'm sorry, guys. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yes. Yeah, yes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The connection or the internet is doesn't want to help me today. Um, just let me let me. Just give me a moment. Okay. So um, we're going to leave the practice there, guys, uh, because, I mean, we're getting lost and this time is running just one hour is not enough. So just send, take a picture right now and send what you have right now to the WhatsApp group, please. We're going to leave that there, okay? The group, the WhatsApp. Yeah, WhatsApp group. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Teacher, call, call you repeat the number three and the, and the time, please. Oh, the last one was, was wasn't it 7.35 or something? 
I, I really I got lost. I'm sorry, Luis. I, I didn't take I didn't even take the last one because the internet started to not to work. I'm sorry. Can someone help uh, Luis Enrique, please? What was the last one? Did any of you was able to listen to the number? The first exercise or second exercise? The second one, number three. Uh, dos, dos treinta y cinco. Okay, so I'm checking right now and I can see, let me see. I can see Lisette, thank you very much. Claudia Iraeta, I can see Rodrigo Chicas, Jacqueline. Rodrigo, I guess, this is, yeah, Rodrigo Chicas, Jenny Sanchez, Adriana Enriquez, Alba Saavedra, Hilda Solórzano, Amilcar Hernández, it says here. Okay. And it's me. Carlos. It's me, Rufiro Amilcar Hernández. Oh, Amilcar Hernández. Okay, very good. And Tatiana Pleites. What about the other ones? I cannot see Catherine. I cannot see Cecilia. Oh, Cecilia, I got it right now. Thank you very much. Stephanie. Andrea. So I think I got it, Andrea. Okay. Thank you very much, guys. So I will check that later on and I will, well, in case that we need to reinforce something, I will check that later <laughs> with you and I will share it with you personally if I have enough time to do so. So for today's class, guys, it's going to be a little bit of grammar, let's say, a little bit of that. Have you ever heard, guys, about demonstrative pronouns. Have you ever heard about it? Or do you have any idea of what is that? That, this, those, uh, that. Okay, yeah, you have idea of that. So today we're going to check, guys, demonstrative pronouns. We are going to know or understand how to use them. Uh, just Maria Veronica, we're go we will have to share that to the WhatsApp group. So let me share that, the screenshot with you guys for today's class. We have demonstrative pronouns. We are going to learn today about their use and what is the best way for you to use them. So. Let's start with that. Here we have an example of uh, the four demonstrative pronouns that we have. So we have as pretty much everything in English. We have singular and we have plural. In this case, we have two of them that are part of the singular. In the singular form, we have this and that. Obviously, their usage is going to be different because when we use these is because we are referring to something that is near. When we use that, we are referring about something that is far away. When we talk about the plural forms of these ones, we know that the plural form of these is going to be this. The plural form of that is going to be those. So we have singular, this and that, plural, this and those, okay? So as you can see, we have a little chart, a little chart here. This, as you can see it here, we're talking about the same thing that we have in this picture. So let's move on with the information. Here we have, guys, the way you are going to create uh, positive sentences or positive statements using the demonstrative pronouns. As we know, the demonstrative pronouns, these and this, that and those. 
But in order for you to make a sentence grammatically correct, you will have to follow a formula. And what is the formula? Very easy. We have a demonstrative pronoun plus the verb be plus the complement. Let me show you an example. We have, here we have the two forms. We have singular and plural. In singular, we have, this is my new car. That is my friend. When we have the plural form, the positive sentences, we have, this are my earrings. Those are my classroom materials, okay? So remember, this is the formula that you need to follow or the pattern that you will need to follow in order to make simple sentences positive, grammatically correct, okay? It's not that complicated. As you can see, it's really simple. The first part, the demonstrative pronoun, whether it is singular or plural. Part number two, the verb be, and the last one is going to be obviously a complement, okay? So is there any questions so far with this or may I continue with that? Continuing teacher. All right, so here we have the negative, well, this is actually negative. It says positive there, that's my mistake. So here we can see in the negative, the only thing that we're going to do is going to be really simple. Right after the verb be, we're just going to add the little word not. So automatically that will make it negative. So as we can see, the master T pronoun plus verb E plus the word not plus complement. Examples, this is not my new car. That is not my friend. These are not the sandals that I bought in Miami. Those are not my classroom materials. Really simple. And the negatives, the only thing that we're going to do is just to add the word not. So as the verb be, we know that we can make also questions and the master T pronouns are not exceptions. In this case, because the master T pronouns, they use the verb be as an auxiliary, in this case, we can make questions and obviously give short answers to those questions. How do we make a question using the demonstrative pronoun? Very easy. The only thing that you're going to do is that you are going to move the verb be at the beginning, and then you are going to use the demonstrative pronoun and then the complement. Let's see an example. Here we have, is this my new car? Is that my new car? As you can see, the only thing that we did, we only move the verb at the beginning and then we follow the same structure that we know, okay? So in order for you to create questions using the demonstrative pronoun, the only thing that you have to do is put the, the verb to be at the beginning, personal pronoun, and complement. And obviously, the question mark at the end. Let's see what happens with the plural form. We have the same thing. Verb be at the beginning plus the master T pronouns plus the complement and obviously the question mark at the end. Examples, are this my earrings? Are those my earrings? So how do we give a short answer to that or to those questions? If your answer is going to be yes, 
you can say, if it is the singular, you can say, short answer, yes, this is, yes, that is. If your answer is with a plural, you can say, yes, this are, yes, those are, okay? So those are the two uh, examples of short answers, one using the singular and the other one using the plural. What happens if you say no? If you say no, you can say no. These, I'm sorry, these should be this one. Just let me correct that. Let me correct it. Because this is a mistake right here. Let me see. Mm. Okay. Excellent. All right, so if you're saying no, you have to say no, that, this, are not, or you can use the contracted form of the verb be that you already know. You can say no, though, this, aren't, no, that, uh, the, this, aren't, no, those, aren't. You can say um, the, the, you can use the contracted form or you can just say are not, okay? That's very simple. So um, with the information that we have right now, is there any questions so far, guys? This topic is not that complicated, so that's why we're just moving forward because it's really simple, really easy for you to understand. But in case that you have any question or something is not clear, just let me know and ask me right now so I can help you. Uh, I have the question. Uh -huh. uh, bueno, en español poco. He entendido que el this, el this, eh, con el plural, eh, se pronunciaba el plural siempre lo mismo, pero alargado. This. Eh, but uh, you, listen, uh, you listen this. Uh -huh. It's not uh, that it's not this, it's like an E, but not stronger than the than the first one. And the first one when we have these, it's these um the the sound of the letter E it's longer. And when you pronounce the other one to say this, it's shorter. So mm -hmm. it's it's not that we make um it's not a big difference. Um, but you were saying that you have heard that the plural form is longer and the singular form is shorter. Is that what you're saying? The two, the, the two form is correct and this, these, or, or this, this. Okay. Is correct so, too? Okay, so I think that the confusion right there is that probably you can listen to that, that or, or you listen to me saying something like this. Like, como que si dijera una letra E, but I'm not saying that. Uh, what I'm saying is una letra I, solo que un poco más corta. Example, in singular, I say these, these, right? In plural, I say this. Es la misma letra I, solo que Abres tu boca como que vas a decir la letra E y en vez de decir la letra E, dices la letra I. Entonces, por eso es que probablemente This. se escucha E, pero no es que sea una E, sino que es una I. Uh -huh. We just have to work on that pronunciation. At the beginning, yeah, the, at the beginning, it's kind of difficult for you to do it. At the beginning. And that's understandable. Es entendible, right? Because okay. you're getting used to the language. But as long as you're practicing, practicing, practicing pronunciation, that is going to help you to make those mm. sounds. The, 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 it's, it's complicated at the beginning. The, something the, like the, that, the, yeah. Uh, it's a little bit you. complicated, but we're going to work on that. 
Thank is there you. any other questions, guys, or can I move on? Well, nobody said anything, so I'm going to move on. All right, so this is what we have, guys. This is kind of uh, pretty much everything that we just saw before. You can see here we have everything, pretty much everything. So let me explain you this part, guys. All right, let me explain you this part. So we have here demonstrative pronouns, singular form. This is a red pen. But if we change that, we could say this pen is red. What did we do in this case? So probably some of you could think, alguno de ustedes podrían pensar que está incorrecto, but when we use the demonstrative pronouns, we can use two forms, actually. Podemos usar dos formas. Form number one is this one. Es esta de acá. We use demonstrative pronoun plus the verb be, más el verbo to be. And we say, this is a red pen or plural, these are blue pen. But I can also use form number two. That is this one. I can use a demonstrative plus an ad a demonstrative adjective plus a noun. In este caso, este demonstrative pronoun se convierte en un adjetivo demonstrativo cuando el sustantivo está a la par de él. ¿Sí? Are, are you following me, guys? Me están entendiendo? Are you understanding that part? Yes. Okay, very good. So remember, every single time that you have a noun next or close to a demonstrative pronoun, at that moment, it means that the demonstrative pronoun will no longer be a demonstrative pronoun. It will be changed to a demonstrative adjective, okay? So as you can see, in this case, this is a red pen or this pen is red. It's pretty much the same thing. What did it change? Que cambio? Only this thing. That is because we have a noun right next to the demonstrative pronoun. Are we clear on that part, guys? Okay. Because if you don't understand, guys, please ask the questions. Because if we have practices later, you might be confused later on. So right now is the time for you to ask the questions so you don't have to worry in your future about those things. Hilda, I see that you have a question. What is your question? We have a question. Mm -hmm. What is your question, Hilda? Yo tengo una pregunta también. Okay, go ahead, you. Este, soy Verónica Martínez. Este, este plural y singular se aplica también a cuando queremos hablar sobre animales. Mm. Por ejemplo. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Por ejemplo, si quiero decir este, que el, el gato es negro, un ejemplo, en plural, en singular, perdón, el gato es negro. Y si quiero decir los gatos son negros, puedo hacerlo utilizando, utilizando this y, y this. Sí, yes, you can do that, porque en ese caso, si tú utilizas gato, la palabra gato, cat, va a ser un noun. Entonces, a partir de ese momento puedes utilizar esta número dos. ¿Sí? Entonces sería this cat is black. Exactly like that. Y exactly. this, this cat, this cat mm -hmm. are blues. Exactly. Like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Like that. Exactamente así. Thank you. All right. So, any other question? Teacher, um, mm -hmm. uh, why is the important uh, oh, ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre usar eh, la primera o la segunda o es lo mismo? Ok, it's pretty much the same thing, but they have some differences. Number one, en la primera, when we use, eh, cuando tenemos un verbo a la par del demonstrative pronoun, en ese caso vamos a decir que si va a ser este de acá, va a estar gramaticalmente siendo usado como un demonstrative pronoun porque a la par tiene un verbo ¿cuál es el verbo acá? el verbo to be ¿pero qué pasa si yo sé que esto de acá en la número 2 es un demonstrative pronoun? pero lo raro es que aquí no tengo un verbo a la par sino un sustantivo en ese momento este de acá aunque nosotros sepamos que es un demonstrative pronoun Dejará de funcionar como demonstrative pronoun y se llamará demonstrative adjective. ¿Por qué? Porque va a estar a la par de un noun. That's the only difference. Thank you, teacher. All right. So, is there any other question? Any other question, guys? No questions. Okay. Yo tengo una pregunta. Uh -huh. What's your question? Este, es, ¿Cuál de las dos es cuando lo hacemos en forma de pregunta? Oh, number one. This one right here. Why? Porque solamente de esta forma lo podemos hacer pregunta, ya que tenemos el verbo to be. ¿Sí? Entonces el verbo to be lo vamos a mover al inicio y luego dejamos todo igual. Solo en ese momento podemos hacer preguntas. En la número dos, that's impossible. Not, in, not impossible actually, but el más común para hacer preguntas va a ser la forma número uno. ¿Ok? Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Is there any other questions, guys? Because if there is no questions, we're going to be moving to the practice. No. Practice, teacher. Okay. So here we have, guys. You know what you have to do? You just let me know, and I will uh, move to the next one. This is not going to be complicated because it's actually really easy to understand. Okay, teacher. All right. This is number two. This is a verb. I'm sorry? This is a verb. Uh, I really don't understand what you're saying. You're you're telling me the first uh, the first exercise is that what you're telling me? Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's actually good. This is number three, guys. Uh, uh, it's a practice group. Yeah, the the group practice. Uh, okay. Are we done? Yes, teacher. Hilda, what's your question, Hilda? Hilda, hello. I can I cannot listen to you. I don't know why.
Well, I, I don't know. Okay, guys, that's that's all. Those are the pictures that we have. So we're going to be moving. El número uno no le capté la captura de pantalla. Okay, just let me. La dos, por favor, teacher, que no la guarde. Okay, just let me check. Esa es la dos, la trepa. La dos es esa. This is number one. Esa es la uno, okay. Yo la dos, por favor. Yo la última, por favor. Ahí está, ya la uno. Okay. This is number two. Okay. And this is number three. Última, por favor, cuando le di que screenshot la pantalla. And it's the last. Gracias. All right. So let's move on, guys. Let's go, please. I will be checking all of you speaking English, please, or try to do it at least. It's okay, Claudia. It's okay. Just be there with your classmates. If you cannot speak, just be there. Norma Marbelli, what's going on? Are you still there? What is that? This. This rose. Yes. These are, these are rose. These. Rose. Roses. 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 <laughs> yes. Roses. Uh, the next? What is? Wow. Wow. It's clouds. Ghosts. Clouds. clouds. What you see on the sky? What you see on the sky? Uh, uh, clouds. Clouds. Oh, clouds. Uh -huh. Clouds. Those, those clouds, uh-huh, those clouds. Those. Uh -huh. those. Those are those clouds. 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 Those clouds, uh-huh. Those, those are clouds. Uh-huh. Other exercise. The next one. Okay. Okay, thank you. Is this ball? Yeah. That tiger? That tiger? Mm -hmm. This motorcycle? Yes. Yeah. Um, this, this shoes? This shoes? And yes. this book? This book? These this, cherries. Those, those cherries. Those, those cherries. Uh -huh. Those cherries. And this apple. This apple. Uh -huh. And that owl. Oh. That owl. The next. 
Thank you. Put it in so in. Put the pencil in this box. This meeting is Those. being recorded. Por eh, la dos, el eh, tigre, porque es un dat. Es singular. Uh, yes. Yeah, but. Es a singular, I, I but the, it's the, so far. Yeah, the, the hand is, is showing so far the car. Yes. Excellent. Okay. El tres. Moto... El número tres. Sí, sí. Eh, motocicleta, ¿verdad? Yes. Sería singular. Sí, singular. Yes. 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 Ah, I'm sorry. Sorry, this. Eh, this, okay. porque es singular. singular. Yes. The four. four eh, es plural. Yes. yes, no sería. This. Sí. In this case, is this. In which, which, which number? Four. Four. Six. Uh, it's and it's, 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 it's Hello? Hello? Yes. Those clothes. Okay. Ten. So this. Yes, that bag. No. This. No, 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 this. This bag. Yes. This bag, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. ¿Les parece si continúo? Please. Okay. Ahorita. Uh oh. Okay, is that? Is that? Is that well? Podríamos decir una cada uno, si les parece, de los integrantes. No, no sé si somos seis, ¿verdad? Eh, eh, sí. Seis, ocho. Y luego repetir. Por oh, orden okay. alfabético podría ser. ¿Quién inicia? En singular y plural. Ajá. Ajá. Y el último, the last, o, oh. the last, o, oh. that, that, um, that, 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 oh. that, o, oh. that, is, a, uh, o, oh. that, o, oh. singular, those are footballs. Ahí sería. This. Um, there, are, there are other. I'm finished. La última. La última. The last. Ah, okay. uh, yes. It's. Change from R to singular. Yes. The first, the first. This is a football. I know. No, no, no. That. This. That is a football. That. That. That is a football. The first, the first that. Yes. The first is that. The second. The second is. This. 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 This meeting is being recorded. This. In the second one. That. In the number six. 
Hello. Hello. Can, can you hear me? La cinco yeah. sería. We are in the in the first one. This or, is or the uh, one. This, 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 this. Thank you. Okay, guys, were you able to complete all exercises? Yes, teacher. All of them. Okay, very good. All right. So the last thing that we're going to do, everyone, we're going to try to resolve all together this part. So number one is going to be for Luis Martinez. Number two, Norma Marbelli. Number three, Jacqueline. Number four, Rufino, number five, Claudia Lisset, number six, Maria Veronica, number seven, Melida Dimas, number eight, Rodrigo Chicas, number nine, Cecilia Melgar, and number 10, Alejandra Cristina. So you know your numbers, go ahead. Put the pencil in this book. To the pencil, pencil. In, this in this box. Box. Okay. Thank you very much. Number two. I do not want to eat that piece. That piece. Uh -huh. No, it did. What about? Is, is she correct, guys? Is that correct? No. No, it's it? those. Those. Of course, those, because we're talking about Pluto. Thank you very much. Number three. Look uh, at that car on the road. Look at that car on the road. Thank you very much. Excellent. Number four. This garden is very nice. This garden is very nice. Excellent. Number five. Who live, lives in these houses? Say it again, Lisa. How do you Lives in the in these houses. Who lives in these houses? Okay, very good. Number six. Those flowers are beautiful. Those flowers are beautiful. Thank you very much. Number seven. That man, that man was my father. That man was my father. Okay, number eight. Number eight, guys. I, I, I go. Uh huh. Rodrigo. Okay, okay. I bought those books yesterday. I bought those yeah. books yesterday. Thank you very much. Number nine. The fish is in this can. The fish is in, is in this can. Thank you very much. Yeah. And the last one. Are these the shares you want? Is the shirt you want? Thank you very much. Okay, guys, that's pretty much it 
for tomorrow, we do not have homework as well. So there's no homework for tomorrow. So that's gonna be all for today's guys. Um, keep working on the platform, do not forget that. If you have any question regarding to any exercise of the platform, you can feel free to ask on the WhatsApp group. And um, well, also I'm, I'm very happy that every one of you is helping each other. So you have been helping your classmates. That's something very good because if you help each other, so it means that all of you are learning in the same way. So, but once again, if you have any question regarding to any exercise, feel free to uh, say that in the WhatsApp group so we can all help you there. So that's gonna be all for today's class, guys. Um, I will send you the presentations right now after the class. So thank you so much for attending to the class and see you tomorrow at the same time, okay? Have a good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.